boys and girls, welcome again to Night Pajama Prayers. So glad to have you. It's been a great week, hasn't it? Wow, we had some little bit of rain. We've had some sunshine. We've had some cool breezes. We've had some very warm breezes and hot temperatures. Everything you could ask for in a week. So I hope you've gone outside and did some good playing and enjoying the weather. And I'm glad that you stopped in time to come and watch Pajama Prayers tonight with me. So we're going to get started with our Hello Game. Now I am so excited because we have a new version of our Hello Game. We're going to play it a little differently. That's what that means. So tonight I have a puzzle. See, it has puzzle pieces. It has letters. So we have all the letters in the basket. I'm going to draw the letters like I usually do, only now we're going to have to fit them in the right spot. And once we get them in there, if you see the letter in your first name, then you're going to do what I ask you to do, and tonight we're going to be musical instruments. All right? Now I'm not really good at some of those musical instruments, so you might get a good laugh out of it, but that's okay. We're having fun, right? So let's get started. Let's see, we have the letter Y, a Q, the letter R, don't you just love these letters? It's like R for rope and Y for yarn. We have a J, that goes over here. Let's see, what will I choose next? I think I'll do the letter E elephant, the letter A, like alligator. We're going to take one more letter and put up here. We're going to do the letter X for exalophone. Let's see, do I have that right? I think I might need to turn that around like that. All right, take a look at the letters. If your first name begins with any of these letters, look at them very carefully, you are going to play the symbols. Are you ready? All right, here we go. What do you think? Did you do a good job with that? All right, so I'm going to take these down because we don't want to get them confused. Put these back here. And we're going to choose some more letters. The letter M, and it goes here. The letter O, it goes here. That's a little odd looking letter, isn't it? The letter U, like umbrella when we used it for the rain this week. The letter N, like nuts like pecans and cashews. The letter D, let's see, that goes here, dominoes. And let's take three more. A W will go here. A T will go here. And the letter H and the H will go here. Now, let's do one more letter. Let's do also the letter F, like little footprints. Are you ready? All right, so look at the letters carefully. If your name begins with any of these letters, you're going to play the drums. Now, I am not very good at playing the drums, but I'm gonna give it my best effort. Are you ready? I've got my drumsticks in my hand. Ready and go. What do you think? I think I messed it up. <laughs> it's okay though. All right, so let's take these down and let's do our last set of letters. I just love these letters. I like the pictures that are on them. It helps me remember what word that that letter is the beginning of. All right, last set, here we go. C, like a carrot. A B, like your building blocks. How about the letter P, like piano keys? 
Z, like zebra, V, ooh, like violin. We have several musical instruments going on here. S, like snake, S, and G, like a globe. Let's see, that letter is going right up in there. Okay. The letter L, like, yep, ladder, you got it. And I, the letter I, stands for ice cream. And then our last letter is the letter K. Now, if your name begins with any of these letters, you are going to play the lead guitar. Can you do it? I don't know if I can do this one, boys and girls. All right, here you go on three. One, two, three. <laughs> what do you think? I don't think that was very good for me, but maybe you did a really good job. All right, so we have played our hello game. Thank you for playing that with me. I'm just gonna take the board now, unclip it, and I'm gonna put it back here. I'm gonna leave that blank now, and we are going to move on to our story. But before we talk about tonight's story, I wanna talk a little bit about last week's story. Do you remember what the story was? The name of it was, Have You Filled a Bucket? And it was about encouraging. And it was a great message and I love to hear that because encouragement from someone is so nice, isn't it? And we read a scripture in 1 Thessalonians that told us that it was good to encourage. In fact, let's see if I made a little note what it said. Um, it says that our, it's to encourage one another and build each other up. So I thought that was great and I was looking on Facebook and I saw something really special. One of our friends that watches Pajama Prayers every Saturday night was on Facebook. There was a picture of her. She listened very carefully to the story and she made a sign that was encouraging. And she went out to the end of her driveway while her mommy was working in the yard and she stood there and held her sign so that everybody that rode by the end of the driveway could read her words of encouragement. I was so proud, friend. I'm so proud of you. Thank you so much. And you know what? You were definitely a good listener last week, and I thank you for that. Now, let's see. Tonight, we have a different story. Our lesson tonight is about making good choices. All right. You know, when we make choices, it doesn't just affect us. Our choices affect a lot of other people. The name of our story tonight is The Rainbow Fish, and it's by Mark Fister. And I'm just wondering if there's any uh, any one of you out there tonight that you've had you've had something and then you had a friend maybe that wanted it. And I wonder what you did. You had to make a choice. Do you share or do you keep it all to yourself? Are you nice and kind to that person or are you unkind and selfish? Let's watch our story and let's see what Rainbow Fish does and how he handles that, all right? Let's go to the story door. The Rainbow Fish by Marcus Pfister A long way out in the deep blue sea, there lived a fish. Not just an ordinary fish, but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were every shade of blue and green and purple, with sparkling silver scales among them. The other fish were amazed at his beauty. They called him Rainbow Fish. Come on, Rainbow Fish, they would call. Come and play with us. But the Rainbow Fish would just glide past, proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer. One day, 
a little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow fish, he called, wait for me. Please give me one of your shiny scales. They are so wonderful. And you have so many. You want me to give you one of my special scales? <laughs> Who do you think you are? Cried the rainbow fish. Get away from me. Shocked, the little blue fish swam away. He was so upset. He told all of his friends what had happened. From then on, no one would have anything to do with the rainbow fish. They turned away when he swam by. What good were the dazzling, shimmering scales with no one to admire them? Now he was the loneliest fish in the entire ocean. One day he poured out his troubles to the starfish. I really am beautiful. Why doesn't anybody like me? I can't answer that for you, said the starfish. But if you go beyond the coral reef to a deep cave, you will find the wise octopus. Maybe she can help you. The rainbow fish found the cave. It was very dark inside and he couldn't see anything. Then suddenly two eyes caught him in their glare and the octopus emerged from the darkness. I have been waiting for you, said the octopus with a deep voice. The waves have told me your story. This is my advice. Give a glittering scale to each of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will discover how to be happy. I can't, the rainbow fish started to say but the octopus had already disappeared into a dark cloud of ink. Give away my scales? My beautiful shining scales? Never! How could I ever be happy without them? Suddenly, he felt the light touch of a fin. The little blue fish was back. Rainbow fish, please don't be angry. I just want one little scale. The rainbow fish wavered. Only one very, very small shimmering scale, he thought. Well, maybe I wouldn't miss just one. Carefully, the rainbow fish pulled out the smallest scale and gave it to the little fish. Thank you, thank you so very much, the little blue fish bubbled playfully as he tucked the shiny scale in among his blue ones. A rather peculiar feeling came over the rainbow fish. For a long time, he watched the little blue fish swim back and forth with his new scale glittering in the water. The little blue fish whizzed through the ocean with his scale flashing so that it didn't take long before the rainbow fish was surrounded by the other fish. Why, everyone wanted a glittering scale. The rainbow fish shared his scales left and right. And the more he gave away, the more delighted he became. When the water around him filled with glimmering scales, he at last felt at home among the other fish. The End Boys and girls, I am so proud of Rainbow Fish. He made such a good choice, didn't he? He decided to share his scales and they made such a difference, not just with him, but with everybody in that whole community. It just changed everything for them. And boys and girls, when we make good decisions, decisions that are not selfish, we can change our world. You know, the Bible talks about making decisions. I want to read you a scripture. You probably expected me to because I do that every pajama prayers night. Tonight, our scripture comes from the Old Testament, but it's kind of in the middle of the Bible. It is the book of Proverbs, and we're going to Proverbs, the 19th chapter and the 20th verse. 
put on your listening ears. Turn up your volume. Can you hear me really well? Are you paying attention? There we go. Proverbs 19 verse 20. It says, listen to counsel and receive instruction that you may be wise. Hmm. Let me see if I can help you understand that a little bit better. Let me read it this way. It says, listen to advice, accept instruction. That means when someone is telling you how to do something, don't be a know-it-all, accept their instruction, listen carefully to what they advise you to do, to their suggestions, that you may be wise and it will help you to be wise. Boys and girls, we're going to bow our heads and we're going to pray and we're gonna ask Jesus to help us this week to make wise choices. So bow your heads, close your eyes, and let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you so much that we can come to you. We thank you that you love us, and we want to say that we love you with all our hearts. And we ask you now that this week, everything that we do, that we will think about you, that we will listen to instructions from our mommy, from our daddy, we will pay attention and we will accept it so that we may learn to be wise. In the name of Jesus, we ask this. Amen. All right, boys and girls, that's about all the time we have. I do want to tell you one thing. If you miss an episode of Pajama Prayers, or if you'd just like to go back and watch it again, maybe watch one from last week or the week before, have your mommy or your daddy Google YouTube Pajama Prayers with PJ. And there we are. And you can choose from all the episodes that we have posted so far. You can just go back in and watch them over and over again. So it's on YouTube and you will search Pajama Prayers with PJ. I hope you do that and I hope you enjoy it. So turn to someone that's there with you and say you are worth more than you know, capable of more than you think, and loved more than you can imagine. Boys and girls, I do. I love you to pieces. Have a great week.